Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, it is absolutely gorgeous outside. It is. Every mm -hmm. sky cam that I've seen has just been a picture perfect shot. I've been yes. itching to find a reason to go outside all morning. I just haven't gotten out there yet. You don't need a reason. Just walk outside. Have you? You yes. better preach. <laughs> you better <laughs> preach. You don't need a reason. Go, <laughs> Prioritize yourself. Mm -hmm. And vitamin D from the sun. There you go. All right. Well, thanks for ending that conversation. <laughs> probably. Let's take a look at the three-day threat tracker. No surprise with all that sunshine. We are green and good to go for Monday, Tuesday, and for Wednesday. We do have rain in the forecast Tuesday and Wednesday, but I want you to recall last week. I told you to check in with me multiple times this week ahead of Wednesday's rain. For a while there, it was looking pretty dicey, and I was going to tell you whether or not it was going to be severe. Well, notice I've left it in the green on our threat tracker. We will see rain and some of the storms we'll see on Wednesday could be strong, but they will not be severe. So aren't you glad you checked in? You did it and you got the all clear. 1121 on your Monday morning and conditions are completely dry on 31 triple Doppler. They'll remain that way for the rest of the day today. However, by tomorrow, all that changes. Beautiful images on the Way 31 Skycam network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. A mix of clouds and sunshine. And that's what we'll see all day long. Periods of full on sun, periods of full on clouds. By the time we head to dinner time tonight and into the overnight hours, it'll be a whole lot more cloud cover ahead of tomorrow's rain. If you're headed out for early lunch right now, temperatures are at 67 presently in the Rocket City, 66 in Fort Payne, 62 in Moulton, and just 60 down in Haleyville. So regardless of where you're heading, you really don't need a coat, or if you do, just a very light one. But with the sunshine, the breeze, and the beautiful temperatures, it's the perfect day to be out and about and have lunch outdoors. Our high temperature on your Monday, can you even believe it? 73 degrees here in the end of February. Absolutely perfect conditions, but note we will have that gusty breeze with us. We're keeping that from this weekend. It's following us into today and even tomorrow, and wind gusts could be up to 25 miles an hour by later this afternoon. Now, if you can't get out during lunch to take the dog on a walk or be outside with the kids, take them out this evening. This is Bella Girl. She is just one of our sweet little girls, and she loves the warm weather which means that your furry friend likely is going to as well. At 5 o'clock when you're just getting home from work, temperatures are still in the low 70s. As we head through the rest of dinner time, we're sitting in the mid and upper 60s, and conditions are going to be absolutely lovely. Spend as much time as you can outside because by the time we head to tomorrow, we're talking about a whole lot of rain in the forecast for the rest of the week. It pushes into the Tennessee Valley right around 6 a.m. It's scattered in nature, meaning not all of us are seeing showers, but a few of us will first thing in the the morning. As we head later through breakfast time, your morning commute will feature on and off rain, and then it gets out of the way by the time we head to lunch. So is tomorrow a washout? Absolutely not. But could you need your umbrella for just a couple minutes? Definitely. By the time we get to lunchtime on your Tuesday, we're in the low 70s with cloud cover and muggier conditions, but conditions are mainly dry for us. Thursday, we're dry during the day, but much cooler thanks to Wednesday's cold front, and then we welcome back storms into the forecast Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. We've got so much more for you for news and for weather. Keep it right here. We'll be right back after the break.